Moving on to the fifth question. Prove the following identities where angles involved are acute angles for which the expressions are defined. Now moving on to the solution for first bit. He has given an equation and asked us to prove that. Now let us initially consider the left hand side that is cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square. So let us equate it to cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta minus cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta and here whole square remains same that is equal to in the bracket let us take sin theta as LCM as it is common denominator then the numerator becomes 1 minus cos theta and its whole square which is equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by sin square theta so from the identity we have that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us substitute it here then it becomes 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 minus cos square theta here 1 minus cos square theta can be written as 1 square minus cos square theta which is in the form of a square minus b square and can be written as a plus b into a minus b therefore that will be equal to 1 minus cos theta whole square divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta on splitting the 1 minus cos square theta here if we observe numerator and denominator we have common factor 1 minus cos theta which cancels 1 minus cos theta square 1 minus cos theta times so finally we got 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta which is our right hand side so here we got LHS equal to RHS so finally we can say that cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta